In what has been described as one of the longest debates to take place in the history of the Congress of the People, after almost six hours, the COP's National Council has sided with its political leader and remains a part of the People's Partnership government. Speaking to the media after a marathon debate on a motion raised by Executive Member Vernon Delima, political leader Mr. Prakash Ramada revealed that Mr. Delima's motion failed to receive the majority support. Almost 90% or more of the delegates voted against that motion and therefore the Congress of the people we have been directed to continue to work to provide good governance to provide um, accountability and to provide all those things that we promised to this nation in the manifesto of 2010 we shall con continue to work within government to do these things and to deliver on the promises that we made in a release issued earlier this week, Mr. Delima took issue with the fact that new information led to the reopening of an investigation into Cabinet Minister Jack Warner. Delima issued an ultimatum to the Prime Minister, remove Mr. Warner from the Cabinet or the Congress would walk from the People's Partnership. However, political leader Mr. Ramada objected, saying that in the interest of democracy, it was an issue to be discussed at a national council. As he explained, the party has instead called for new moves to be made. There was an amended motion that indicated that Mr. Jack Warner, having regard to the things that are in the public domain, that he may not continue to, to sit in cabinet. And that is something that we will bring forward to our partners in the partnership, to the leader of the UNC, but without the ultimatum that if it is not provided for, that we will walk. We think the moral strength of the argument is strong, and therefore, we expect the Prime Minister to act in accordance with what is best for Trinidad and Tobago. According to Ramada, the Congress of the People will not destabilize the government over this particular issue. The party, he says, has a mandate to deliver. We are working towards delivering. It would be an abdication of that trust that they gave to all of us, including and especially COP in 2010, to say today, that we leave the partnership and then not finish our work, which we had promised to, to, to finish. So it is on the basis of duty to people. As for the future of the COP, Mr. Ramada is adamant that there is no divide amongst the membership of the party. There was an amended motion that indicated that Mr. Jack Warner, having regard to the things that are in the public domain, that he may not continue to, to sit in cabinet. And that is something that we will bring forward to our partners in the partnership to the leader of the UNC, but without the ultimatum that if it is not provided for, that we will walk. We think the moral strength of the argument is strong, and therefore we expect the Prime Minister to act in accordance with what is best for Trinidad and Tobago. He says the new amended motion calling for the investigation into Mr. Warner to be sped up will be delivered to the Prime Minister at the earliest possible time. For CNC3, I'm Rhea Rambley.